Hello, welcome to Easy Company Gaming Collectibles, and yes, I mean, nothing. We have a new figure from Hot Toys. Sideshow announced uh, it, I think, two days ago, one and a half days. I got, I looked on my phone yesterday, and I was seeing on, on YouTube, oh, Anakin Skywalker, you know, images and stuff like that, Revenge of the Sith, and I was like, I wonder if Sideshow released this. And they did, so I'm excited. Here we go. So this this is the uh, one six scale Anakin Skywalker Revenge of the Sith movie masterpiece, and it is a masterpiece. Um, what it what it's over here? It's uh it's the Revenge of the Sith version. They skipped out on the uh, episode two one. Um, maybe because I mean I thought they would go for a marketing way, go for the uh, episode two one before the episode three, so they can sell episode two ones and make some money off of it and then improve episode three and then go to episode three anakin but they went straight to this one and um there's some easter eggs in this hopefully will th those will be true um that's all what he comes with you can just pause that look at it comes out in july 2018 to september 2018 um so i really it's, it's a bit far away but oh well um, uh, this is all it comes with, and let's just go over, he's 235, up for pre-order right now as of this date, and, uh, let's just go over the pictures and the promotional looking photos that we have of him, so, <laughs> over here you can see him, he's doing some posing and all that stuff, he comes with his Jedi robe, uh, his Jedi Knight out outfit, um, that it, it seems to be the same pleather they've been using, um, it might, it looks like it's a bit improved, um, Han Solo's jacket, his pleather was a bit on the weak side for me, like after a while with moisture and all that stuff going on, I felt like it would deteriorate on its own, or with articulation and all whatnot, but we're gonna have to wait and see for all that stuff. Um, if, as you can see, this is, uh, the very beginning of Revenge of the Sith when he comes in and blasts some <laughs> droids. <laughs> Such a bad guy. Um, so he comes with one lighted up lightsaber, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other one you'll see in a second. It says the batteries are in the lightsaber. I think they're doing the new technology where they put the batteries in the lightsaber now. And I hope it's brighter because it seemed like it was brighter for some... I don't know why I feel like it's going to be brighter in the Luke Skywalker one and now this. Um... He comes also, I'll, sh I'll show you what he comes with, but this is all him. Um, it looks amazing, uh, the sculpt, we'll look at that later too, but this is all the clothing, cloth, goods are awesome. His leather belt looks awesome. His cartridges and all that stuff looks realistic. Um, his boots look really good, and this is far way better than a sideshow, and again, by far way better. Um, I just... I just love that they're stepping into the prequel age and just going on with the uh, the prequels now because I'm in love with the prequels. I wish that time could come back and I can relive it and then come back. And But here we are where he has Count Dooku's lightsaber. Count Dooku's lightsaber. Now, now this one doesn't light up. This one doesn't light up. The blue one does. His does. Um, Count Dooku's lightsaber... Will we get a Dooku later on? He is a key aspect to the duels in Episode 3. One of the best duels in Episode 3 was that duel at the beginning. Um, will we get a Dooku? I'm hoping. I want a Dooku. Hot Toys does amazing at old people. Um, the way Hot Toys does their old people... I think because of there's so much character and, 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 and wrinkles and, and all kinds of stuff going on in old people, that they just they just 100% nail it. I love it. I love it to death. Uh, here you can see Anakin's... It's only one pose on his head, no other face sculpts. Or I wish they started doing alternate head sculpts. Um, I wouldn't mind a $20 increase, up to $20, $25 increase for extra head sculpt for switch in and switch out. Um, just for various posing reasons and diorama reasons and all kinds of stuff. But this look on him, that expression that Anakin is giving, I, I like it. That mean, disturbing, something's going on in your head. 
I, I just farted, but I'm serious about my farts, and they're deadly. So I like that. I like that. Um, as you can see here, you see his gloved hand, and under, uh, I don't know, no, interchangeable with, I, I do believe it's interchangeable. You can't just whip that crap off. But um, it's his, his little iron hand, man hand. So you get his little uh, me mechanical uh, robotic hand too, which you'll see, I think they do a close-up on him. But he comes with little force push hands and grab hands and all kinds of, enough hands for, I don't, I really don't know what that is. Like a, I don't know, I don't know, but it, it's there. Um, I wish if the uh, Dooku's lightsaber was lighted up because that would be awesome. But even if it's lighted, you're still not going to get the lightsaber looking lightsaber, but oh well. Cool stuff. Um, Dooku's lightsaber looks awesome. I just wish we'd just get a Dooku. That would be, be complete for us. As you can see here, more of his belt and leather area and all what's going on in his uh, waist area. area. And this is more of a different angle of his posing. The hair... There's some shots where I'm like, it, his hair seems a bit too voluminous, if that's the word for it. A bit too puffy. Um, I don't know, maybe it's the angle things going on with it. I really like this pose, though, but the angle thing goes going on with it. Like, you can see it's coming off way too much on this side and way too much on that side. It looks like a big mullet, which he did have somewhat, but in the movie it didn't look like a mullet. It looked like a nice, cool hairstyle for him, but in this, to me, it looks like a mullet. Looks like, If nobody knew who this was, they are like, who's the, guy, who's, the, who's the mullet guy with the stick? It won't look right. But I, I, maybe they'll fix it up because l the late releases that Hot Toys been doing, I love them because you see the prototype and you say, well, they can't get any better than that. But then they started leaving this room for error because every time they come out with a new prototype, that thing does not look like the final product. To me, in, in my opinion, the final product always turns out, almost always turns out a lot better than the actual prototype. Take, for instance, Jyn Erso. Take for uh, Wonder Woman, um, Yoda. Those type of characters, like, they just end up a lot better than, than what they were supposed to be. Like, I just love it. So, for him, maybe more of a no, more of a round nose like Hayden Christensen has. Um, everything else to me, the, the eyes, everything is nailed. And for such a young guy, it's hard for Hot Toys to nail younger people. For some reason, I feel that. The older people are easy because it's easy to sculpt out their old dudeness or womanness. So, like him, I just, the way it's sculpted and everything, it works for me. I love it. I love how everything looks on him. It's just that his nose maybe needs a bit tweaking and the hair, I don't know. Maybe the hair, leave it. I don't care what you do with it, really, because it's one of them things. Maybe I'm just being picky or I'm just seeing something according to my eyes or my brain, the way it sees it. Um, but let me see. Let me see that robotic hand. But I just feel like that nose needs to be more rounded because he has kind of a rounded, rounded no nose. Um, this is a great shot of him and the... Um, uh, what you call, oh God, jeez Louise, the great, oh, that, oh, no, yeah, that, that's a great shot, great lighting, I love the lighting that was in this, uh, these photos, they do some good stuff at the, at the, at the place, you know what I mean, but, um, this, I wish it wasn't a effect glowing, like, I wish it was real, like, I wish they get that technology by now and just figure out how that, to make that crap look like a lightsaber but just an amazing sculpt asajj ventress i think that's the one who gave him the scar and the clone wars obviously he just popped into episode three with a scar on his face everybody's like what the, the hell happened there annie huh mr annie what happened you know so another uh look at the angle just mean looking anakin love it and as you can see, the eyes, just those eyes, just those devilish eyes. I love it. Just just amazing. I, I'm so glad they're coming through with the um, uh, prequels and, and whatnot. I just love the prequel whole era and just the clones. I cannot wait for clones and the Clone Wars and the clone everything. Clump commanders, grunts, pilots, everything clone I will probably own. 
That's it. Go home. So here you can see his robotic hand. Um, nice, lovely detail. This is the beautiful, lovely, great hand he had at the end, at the end of uh, Attack of the Clones, I guess. And uh, I just love that nice gold finished hand and end of the Attack of Clones or... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then Dooku's saber, Anakin's saber, his clothing, Jedi robes. Um, I'm guessing he comes with a um, uh, a hilt that's been designed to be just hung on his belt. Just like the Obi-Wan figure did when uh, Hot Toys released him, the Obi-Wan Kenobi a New Hope version. You get like two different sabers, or three different ones, and one just held, holds in the hand for light, one just holds in the hand for just to hold in the hand. It was just, it's pretty cool. And then you have these uh, four gloved hands and four regular hands. Um, various amounts of hands going on, pretty cool. And then the stand here takes me by surprise. Like, you just shorted yourself, Hot Toys. What's, I don't, I'm not too sure as what they're doing here, but this leads me to a theory. Why does this have this big gap here and why does this continue? There's a big line of, well, of course, yes, they're going to come out. But that leads you to say, hey, there's more coming out. Please, Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan Kenobi. That is probably going to be one of the most wanted Hot Toys Star Wars figures ever made. To me, is that Obi-Wan Kenobi, Revenge of the Sith. Probably like a Utapau version where he's... That'd be co that, you know what would be cool if they put like a clone kit with him like he can have a clone commander kit and like he have clone war robes or whatever you armor and stuff like that that would be awesome um but obi-wan has to be i mean obviously you have anakin he was a big hype and for me and he came and it's awesome so um it's just great so that's Anakin Skywalker. So if you like what you saw here in East Company Gaming, this is a buy or pass episode. This guy is a must buy. I You just have to buy this guy. You, I wouldn't miss out on this guy for nothing. I, 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 I'm going to pre-order this as soon as I finish this video. Um, so just as soon as that happens, um, I'm going to buy it. And um, ugh.